Hey everyone, Jonathan Taylor here with the BIB Podcast bringing you another video tip this week. In this week's video tip, I want to talk to you about a new recorder that I've just gotten in. I've had a chance to uh, uh, put it to the test and I want to give you my uh, my thoughts on it. It is the Zoom uh, H4N uh, recorder and uh, just got this in uh, last week. I've been playing around with it. Actually did a, uh, a joint podcast uh, this past week. Um, my good buddy David Dutton and I had a sit down inter- or uh, a sit down uh, podcast recording that we did um, and it turned out great. Uh, the audio on this thing is very good. Uh, now if you've listened to me in the past on our podcast show, you know that I've been highly uh, that I've recommended the um, the Roland RO5 recorder. I still like this. It's a great little recorder to keep um, to keep with you. Uh, it's great for hooking into your sound mixer. It's great for doing uh, recording audio on the go. Uh, but if you're going to spend the money, I'm going to now recommend the Roland or the uh, I'm sorry the the Zoom H4n and the reason being is because it's got two inputs for XLR cables. Uh, now if you're just getting started podcasting uh, and you're looking at ways to do recording and things like that and you're looking at uh, USB mics or dynamic mics you got to know that um, as far as a, a dynamic mic goes you're, to me your sound quality is much better because you're not you're you're not getting a lot of the background noise um, that comes in when you're using a standard USB which uses a condenser mic um, and that's why I love the fact that you can hook in uh, two dynamic mics, uh, much like this right here. Uh, this is a um, very inexpensive Behringer XM8500 mic. I paid about $20 for this on, on Amazon. Uh, you can still get them for that price uh, on Amazon right now. Uh, they're not quite as good as the Heil PR40, uh, which I use. We use on this is what I use on our podcast show. It's got excellent sound quality, but for the price that you're paying, these sound almost as good as the Heil PR40 uh, for about 20 bucks a piece. Now, what I like about this so much about this recorder is the fact that I can hook these mics in uh, using these XLR ports and use the mics instead of the onboard mic. Now, it does by itself. It does have a recorder. Uh, it has a built-in recorder, uh, much like the Roland does but it's a condenser mic. Again, I'm not a huge fan of the condenser mic because it's always picking up uh, every little uh, sheet of paper that ruffles or anything like that. I know I've uh, recorded a few episodes even while I'm traveling in the car and uh, it just picks up every you know traffic going by and you know when you're on the road recording. This however with the dynamic mic it really uh, when you when you're able to hook up a dynamic mic using the XLR, it really doesn't pick up a whole lot of background noise um, like that. You really, uh, when you're using one of these, you're really getting up on it in order for the uh, sound to come in, and it filters out a lot of the um, the other background noise that comes in. But what I like the most is the fact the portability, knowing that I can take this on the road with me if I want to do a live in-person interview, a sit-down per, uh, interview with someone uh, one-on-one, I can take this and a couple of uh, uh, you know dynamic mics that have the XLR, XLR cables and then hook those in using the XLR cable. Just hook that into the, uh, the inputs on the bottom can hook in two XLR uh, cables in with the jacks, uh, making sure that both um, both recorder uh, both mics are selected down here at the at the two. This gives you the uh, two external mics, and then you're just hitting play or record. I'm sorry, <laughs> and then you're ready to go, and you're recording, and you can hook these up. And again, I like the fact that you can use these because uh, of the fact that you can do uh, in person, you can do co-hosting uh, inter- or uh, shows and you can do it away from your office or your studio if you want to go on location to like a coffee shop or something. Easy, very portable. You can set it up. It's got the little, um, uh, you've got the little tr- uh, tray here for your SD, ca- uh, SD card. It uses, it records to a, uh, um, a uh, little SD card 
and uh, you've got your volume controls on the side, your uh, USB hookup, if you want to hook it up to your uh, computer, you can simply uh, hook the cable up, it comes with a cable that you can hook up, and you can actually turn uh, this into a microphone, a USB mic, uh, if you want. That's another feature that it's got with it that you can uh, change in, you can hook, uh, insert your um, uh, headphones as well. Even got a uh, a remote. Uh, now the remote doesn't come with it, but that's an additional accessory that you can get with this. So all in all, a great recorder. Um, the price is a little bit more than the Roland. Uh, I think it's uh, this comes in about 200, uh, $250, $260 uh, for the recorder itself. So it is a little bit pricier uh, than the Roland. But again, with the additional features of the XLR um, uh, uh, inputs uh, so that you can hook in your uh, dynamic mics it makes it uh, it it gives it so many additional features that you can use this for also additionally if you ha if you use a DSLR camera this is a great recorder to use uh, because uh, one of the things you want to do if you're recording uh, video with a DS DSLR camera you want to uh, record your audio if you can separately onto uh, a recorder um, and I'll probably have an additional uh, video showing you how to do that um, because I've just gotten in, um, just recently got a, a new DSLR camera and I plan on using this a lot with that as well. Um, so a cool little hookup or a cool little um, recorder. Uh, again, if you're just getting started podcasting um, and you're trying to decide on what to get first, if I were starting all over and didn't have a mixer or anything, I'd probably go out and get this first to start with because I can go ahead and start recording right away with this and uh, with a cheap uh, microphone with a $20, uh, $20 uh, Behringer uh, XM8500 mic, like I said, for about 20 bucks on Amazon, uh, one of those and maybe a mic stand or something and you're for under $300, you're, you're in business recording and uh, you can take this out on the road with you and uh, get some recording done. Well, thanks again. This is Jonathan Taylor. If you have questions or comments, you can uh, send us a uh, email over info at bibpodcast.com or just go over to our site at bibpodcast.com and uh, just fill out the contact page. Uh, also, if you're not a subscriber to our weekly podcast show, we'd love to have you as a listener, and uh, you can subscribe while you're there as well. Thanks for uh, checking us out. Have a great week, and God bless.